uh, welcome to KLT Charting's October Floss Tube video. Just a quick one to show you this month's fabric. Um, no baby today, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for you, if you wanted to see him. Um, unfortunately for me, he is sleeping. Uh, I did sort of wait a little bit if he would wake up. He could make a cameo appearance, but he's still asleep and I need to get this done. So, uh, we are in October. 2nd of October, I've been away for the weekend, so I'm one day late, but it was a Sunday, so that doesn't count anyway, so yay me! Uh, October, I've gone with Halloween-ish sort of, well it is Halloween, uh, colours, uh, and this is Hocus Pocus, and we've gone for, dark, it's a dark one this month, well dark if you have, have Ada, I'll show you the even in a minute, but this is Ada, 14 count Ada, Hocus Pocus, purple and green. See that? I wanted something witchy. So that's what you got. So there we go. 14 count Ada. Now, as I have said before, the even weave is not such a fan of the green, so it's not come out too dark on this, but this is the even weave. 28 count. Okay. And I also did as a test piece this month, I also did a piece of 28 count sparkly. Oh, slightly bigger patch of green in this one, but it's still not very dark. Um, that is the sparkly. Even weave. See, purple and green, witchy. Focus, focus. And then the 14 count sparkly. And this is when I picture colours in my head before I dye them. Um, sometimes they come out as I think they're going to, sometimes they don't. The even weave has come out a bit light, but this is done like greens. Uh, this is what I had in my head. And it's come out brilliant. I love it. Uh, so here we go. 14 count sparkly Ada. Focus, focus. Okay. Um, so that is the fabrics. Um, I haven't got any other fabrics to show you at the moment. I've got some there, but I don't need to show them to you. Um, the only other thing I was going to say is if you have signed up to my newsletter, if you haven't, why not? Um, email me at kltcharting at gmail.com um, and say you want to be added to the newsletter if you aren't already on it. Um, so if you're on the new, if you have already had the newsletter though, <clears throat> you would seen I gave a little exclusive, which uh, telling you what the next stitch along was going to be. Um, and I said on there that it was beverages. Now I had a couple of people messaging me going, yay, concoctions and cocktails and things like that. It's not alcoholic beverages, it's non-alcoholic. Started off as coffee cups, uh, but it's grown a little bit beyond that, so it's no longer just coffee, but it's those sort of beverages. <coughs> non-alcoholic, so what I will do is, I've also said about that in the Facebook group, um, and people who are currently in the Russian Dolls uh, stitch along, the one that we're currently running, they have an extra little exclusive as SAR members, um, and they have seen the first cup. Ooh. Um, now what I will do is I will be launching this soon. Stitching won't start until January, but for people who want fabric, um, people who um, so if you want the hand dye fabric, I need obviously time to get it done. My waiting list, um, I've got a lot more organised. My waiting list is right down. Um, I think it, the web, I think on the website I've said two to three weeks, um, but it's closer to the two weeks at the moment. If you were to order fabric today, it's um, getting done and I'm getting it out there. So if you want fabric, uh, I need time for that. So Stitch Along will be launched soon. Stitching doesn't start until January. I run two a year, January to June and then July to December. So we're currently doing July to December, which is the Russian Dolls. Um, and the beverages will be, um, yes, January to June. But for the first time in KLT Charting's Stitch Along history, because what I do, my Stitch Alongs are usually the same outline. They're all the same and they have different patterns in them, which you choose your own colours for, okay? Now this is slightly different because although they are all cups of sorts, there are different shaped cups, so you can't do all the outlines in one go ahead of time. Um, and it's a different types of cups, and I have used DMC colours. Basically, I'll tell you about the first one, okay? The first one is Latte, I think. Yes, 
is latte is the first one um so the actual cup will have a pattern on that you can um choose your own colors for the actual cup you can choose your own colors for and the pattern you can choose your own but to make it look like a latte the top has dmc colors so what i will also be doing for the first time is offering thread packs and actual kit kitted up for the amount that you need sort of pre-sorted pre-cut threads for the dmc colors for the chart okay uh, so there will be some weird wonderful colors in there there's red there's yellow there's orange there's green um all that will make you wonder what could possibly be in the other 11 shapes <laughs> i'm very excited about this my model stitcher has seen it a couple of other people have seen it too per the person who originally suggested the idea to me she has seen it she likes it my model stitcher leslie um usually watches my videos so hello leslie <laughs> She has seen it, she loves it. Um, her fabric is ready to go. I have made a thread pack for her, so she is going to stitch those up for me and let me know if I'm sending enough thread out. So the thread packs and everything will be going on sale very soon, but no thread packs will be sent out until Leslie has finished model stitching so that I know if enough thread is going out. If she says to me, you're not sending enough of this particular colour, then I can add an extra half metre to the packs before they go, if that all makes sense. So when they go on sale, if you want to order them, that's fine, but they won't be sent out yet. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. I'm very excited about the stitch link. It's going to be so much fun to see all the little lattes stitched up, but the cups will be still be your choice. I hope all of that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, then please just give me a shout and I'll be happy to explain as best I can because I don't want to ruin the surprise of what the other cups will be and the order that they're coming out in or anything like that. So, um, yeah, should be good. Keep uh, Stay tuned to this and also the Facebook group as well. More details will be coming out there. But in the meantime, I'm going to love you and leave you. Baby's still sleeping, but I'll be getting him up in half an hour to do a school run. Um, and I will get the rest of the hocus pocus fabrics dyed up and sent out soon i will also be sending invoices this afternoon so all right i will see you all very very soon